Jury is now done for the day in the Christopher Clements trial. He's the man accused of kidnapping and killing 13 year old Maribel Gonzalez in 2014. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo has been in the courtroom covering this case from the very beginning and joins us now live from downtown with more on what happened today. Lupita. The defense has rusted its case. Christopher Clements will not be taking the stand. The state, the, excuse me, the defense called a total of three witnesses, including a digital forensic consultant. Carl Epps was on the stand most of the afternoon. He showed the court a series of slides that track Christopher Clements' cell phone. Also on the map, the homes of Clements, the victim, and where the body was found. Epps tracked Clements' phone on June 4th from midnight until 2.30 a.m. He said there was a four-hour window where the phone went quiet. There was no data connection. He used records provided by AT&T to show the phone traveling north on Interstate 10. However, he told jurors that the records he was providing he could not say one way or the other if the phone was ever at the site in Avra Valley, where Maribel's body was found. Cy Ray was then called as an expert witness for the state. In rebuttal testimony, he told the jury that Clement's phone had multiple connections to the cell tower by the recovery site. The state will call one more rebuttal witness, and the closing arguments are scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live from the Superior Courts building, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.